Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to On The Wrist. I'm Mark, and we're going to do an unboxing today. Just got this latest piece yesterday in the parcel, and I'm quite excited about it, and I want to share it. I hope you enjoy. Before we start anything, uh, I'd like to introduce my special guest, Otto. He protects my watches. And customary wristwatch check today. Uh, Seiko SKX009 unmodded. It's still a virgin. Um, I bought this for my son for his college graduation a couple weeks ago, and he's out. Of, he's out right now. At the gym. I kind of liberated it from him. Let's see if he notices. All right. On to the unboxing. All right. As you can tell by this bright yellow box. With the wings, this can mean only one thing, Invicta. And to be honest with you, I, I did unbox this already. I got it last night. I couldn't wait. I had to try it on. But we're going to do a little review on it today. And I'll talk about it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the paper comes in. It's embossed with the Invicta logo. Right there. It's nice. Uh, came with this this box here. It's like a, a rubberized leather, I guess. And uh, quite sturdy. It's not like the Pro Divers box where you get that like almost uh, the Pelican case. It's not going to spend any time in here, so let's let me open it up. I already sized it. And we get the tag, the warranty card, and the owner's manual. I found this on Amazon for $70, $72 or something. And I was looking for a new piece. And I just happened to have an Amazon gift card worth $100. I got it as a bonus from my work. So, even with shipping, it didn't cost me a dime. So I have zero invested in it, but I love it. I'm very happy. All right, so without further ado, here we go. Ta-da! It's, uh, it's an homage to the Rolex Submariner. Let's give it a quick polish. Take it out. All right. First thoughts right off the rip. It's got that two-tone solid end link bracelet. Got the brushed and the polished. I think that looks amazing. Everything's solid. It's got some weight to it. It doesn't feel clunky or over the top like, uh, like typical Invictas are. And I guess that's why Invicta has such a bad name reputation because they do they make nice watches, but they are a bit over the top. I guess that's their market. But the Pro Diver series and this series are spot on. I, I can't complain. The only... The only really complaint I have is, I don't know if you can see it or not, this uh, Invicta logo engraved into the side. I'm not a fan of that, but you don't really see it. We have polished sides. And hopefully you can see it. Uh, an engraved crown with the logo. And the brush finish. And actually a very nice transition from the bracelet to the case. And it's so super polished, just touching at least a little bit of finger residue. Okay. Uh, 120 click bezel. I click it for you, but there we go. It's hard to do with one hand. Let's 
Let's see. Oops, sorry for that. One of these days I will get a tripod and a real camera. There we go. Nice positive action. No slop. There we go, none at all. It's got a great loom. Unfortunately, I can't show that today because the sun is blaring and it is hot as Hades here in upstate New York today. Okay. Let's see. It has Mercedes hands. Nice dome cyclops. I, hope, I can't tell if this is in focus or not. I apologize. The sun's so bright right now, I can't see anything. Uh, screw down crown. One. Two, two position, and third position is hacking. Yes, this watch hacks. Manual wind and automatic and hacking. Beautiful looks. And there it goes again. Push it in the second position, and there we go. I'm over the moon with this so far. I, I wore it last night for a little bit. The crown is a bit hard to put back in when it's one-handed. Sorry again. I promise I will get a tripod. I can just stop buying watches. There we go. Oh, wrong date. Figure out how to set the date here. Oh, well, I have to do it the long way. It is, uh, oh, I looked away, and now I don't know what day it is or time it is. We'll say though, this is incredibly smooth, the action on this. It's effortless. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take the Seiko off because uh, my son's wrists are considerably smaller than mine. All right, I hope all that got in the shot. All right, uh, let's do some specs on it. All right, right the calipers out. We're looking at case I am. Forty millimeter case diameter. Fourteen millimeter thickness, and this time I won't forget the lug width is twenty. All right, I tell you, I love these Mercedes hands on here. There we go. That's much better. All right, let's see how it looks. Look at Otto for a minute. There we go. Believe it or not, the sun is blaring today, but for some reason I can't get out of the shadows here. Feels very comfortable. I did have to take two links out, but I'd rather take out than an add. And 
and it, it's the specs on it are uh, 600 feet, 200 meter water resistant with a screw down crown. Um, I wouldn't be afraid of going in the water with this. And if for some reason, I hate to say it, but if some reason I did and it leaked and got ruined, it didn't cost me anything. But I really like it, so I would be upset. I'm going to take it off again. I want to show you. Let me get in there. 